well friends welcome again today we have an unusual video because since the Halloween season is approaching I decided to make a different video and come to one of the most famous or the most famous and oldest cemetery in Miami yes guys today I am at the Miami City Cemetery has more than 9,000 burials and even today they're still burying people but there's a little bit of history behind it so come with me and learn a little about the Miami City Cemetery well friends here we are the Miami City Cemetery right there you can see a little bit of the history and I'm gonna read to you so you get an idea so in 1897 Miss Mary Brickle sold this 10 acre rocky wasteland to the city of Miami for $750 it was a half mile north of the city limits on a narrow wagon country trail the first burial not recorded was of an elderly black man on the 14th of July of 1897 the first recorded burial was H. Graham Branscombe, a 23-year-old Englishman on 20 July of 1897. From its inception, it was subdivided with whites on the east and the colored population on the west end. In 1915, the Beth David congregation began a Jewish section. Two other sections are the circles. The first, Julia Tuttle, the mother of Miami, buried in 1898. The second, a memorial to the Confederate dead erected by the United Daughters of the Confederacy. There are 66 Confederated and 27 Union veterans buried there. Other sections include a Catholic section, American Legion, Spanish-American War, and two military sections along the North and South fence lines. Among the 9,000 burials are pioneer families such as the Burdines, Peacocks, Sewells, Gilbert, and Dr. James Jackson. The five Ulitic limestone markers are the only known worldwide. Restoration was led by Annie Pinkney and Penny Lambert of the African American Committee of Dade Heritage Trust and Tremendous Miami. And this was in 2013, place right here. So we're gonna go around, guys, and we're gonna take a look around to see the very interesting looking gravestones and mausoleums that we have on this burial site which is actually a historic one so yeah friends like I was mentioning so I decided to come today to the to this cemetery because uh, I've been living here for a long time and, and I haven't had the chance to come here and take a look at it and I just went around for a few minutes and it's a beautiful beautiful place it has mausoleums it has graves it has headstones and there's a lot of history here uh, so just to give you a little quick idea, this uh, area is on prime real estate. We're talking about this is downtown Miami. Later on, you're going to see a lot of buildings around it. But it was sold to the city by Julia Tuttle. Julia Tuttle, who is she? She's considered the mother of Miami because she was the owner and she was a businesswoman and she had a lot of land where Miami stands today, like the business area and all the very 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 important areas so she sold part of her lands to the city and they created the Miami City Cemetery and that grave you see right there that's Julia Tons so let's go and take a look at it well guys this is the burial site of Julia the forest turtle the mother of Miami she was buried here on September 4, 1899. There's some other relatives here buried along her. And you're gonna see around that we have a lot of different styles. We have mausoleums, we have gravestones, we have regular graves. And one interesting fact about this cemetery in particular is that the plots, they have owners. So the only way that you can be buried here if if you are the owner or a family related to you it's the owner of that lot so which means something interesting only about 20 people a year are buried here 
because you need to have those specifics to be able to be buried here. You know that along the years the different trends on burial they change but take a look at this beauty right here. This is a burial from 1925 and take a look at that gravestone right there. Or should I say that grave right there. Beautiful. So we're gonna take a look at some other graves around. There is definitely a lot of history in this uh, cemetery. Sadly, I don't know all of it. All of it. So there are gonna be some names that probably you will recognize along the history of Miami or along the history of your area, of your country, like Gauthier, Burdine. Nowadays, this cemetery is divided into sections. It has a Christian section, it has a Jewish section, another section is divided for military. But a sad part of history is that in the beginning, the blacks and whites were not buried on the same area. There was a section specially for black people and another section specifically for white people. This is a very unusual construction here for a cemetery. I found this lonely gravestone here and it's from a baby, Mary Head Scott. She was only about one year old and she had this little headstone right here all by herself. And it's part of history, guys. It's part of all our history. The section we are standing on right now is actually from the World War I veterans and other veterans from all the wars you can see right here an example with all due respect cook ambulance world war one frederick charman thank you for your service sir right across the section where the war veterans are buried we have right here the Jewish section. We're gonna go inside and take a look. You might be asking why am I here? Why am I doing this video? It's like you have to be aware like there's a beauty behind cemeteries. There's a calmness, there's a respect and also a charm about how gravestones are built, what they say, what they depict and that's what I wanted to show you here. The different types of art, the different types of mausoleums, gravestones and a little bit of history about Miami. An interesting grave that I just found is the Sears family. Are they related to the long gone stores? Probably. Henry and Beatrice Sears. They're buried here.
This is a 1919 burial site. Let's continue, guys. Let's see. An interesting fact about all these graves you see here is that the lots where these people are buried are actually owned by the families which means that in order for you to be buried here you need to either be the owner of the lot or have a family member who owns the lot and take a look at this beauty right here there's some headstones here that are so interesting and beautiful at the same time take a look at this one buried in 1907 This is another beautiful headstone from 1906, Lizzie Lou Rona. An interesting thing that I was reading on the internet about headstones and the whole concept of having a headstone, it's not only to mark where someone is buried. Originally in the European folklore, the whole idea of having a headstone was to avoid the death to raise from their graves. So they put the heavy stones, that's what, uh, that's what they call headstones, above the head of the disease that was buried. So in order to avoid the dead to rise on their graves. Well friends, take a look at this beauty. That's a beautiful mausoleum there and that tree over there. Wow. It's a beauty. Many people are afraid of coming to cemeteries, but actually it's one of the safest places you can ever be. Well guys, I wanted to give you a quick look at the main road that goes through the center of the cemetery. There's only one single road, which is this one. It has two roundabouts and then it takes you to the other side of the street. So I'm just gonna go around. You can see that if you come here, you can park on the green areas as long as you're not parking on top of a grave, of course. And I really, uh, the rail, the place is very well kept, but you can see it's a little rundown in some places that the city is working on it. But definitely it's a place that I invite you to come if you're ever in Miami. If you're into architecture, if you're into cemeteries, into grave sites, historic grave sites, this is a place to be. So I'm gonna let the video do the rest of the talking.
Well, friends, that's it. We are at the other end of the cemetery. It took me about easily one hour to be here and go around. So that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for coming with me to see this part of the history of Miami. And with that said and done, thank you again. You can like, comment this on this video. And without further ado, thank you so much. Have a great day and have a wonderful rest of your week.